Hi, my name is James Novak and I'm an industrial design lecturer and PhD candidate here at Griffith Uni on the Gold Coast. I received a bachelor's degree in architecture and then I became interested in smaller projects and smaller products and that's where I moved into product design, studied another bachelor's degree in that, spent some time working in an industrial design consultancy in Brisbane and then finally found my way back here to university at Griffith where I took up an honours program last year um, which is the bike behind me and I'm now working towards a PhD. 3D printing has really changed a whole range of manufacturing areas, but I think cycling is a really interesting one because the shape of the bike hasn't changed a lot over the last hundred years. Everything else is completely up for grabs now and can be rethought and redesigned in a new way to take advantage of 3D printing. Sports is an area that I'm really excited about, high performance sports particularly, extreme athletes. It's all about having the best gear to help them get their bodies fractions of a second faster. And 3D printing, because it allows you to create one-off products, a design can be made specifically for that athlete. And that might save them that one thousandth of a second that wins them the gold medal as opposed to a silver or bronze. This print behind me was printed in one single piece, basically a prototype at this stage. So I started out by getting my perfect dimensions, so the exact spot where I like my seat, putting those into a computer program, and then basically filling in the gaps very slowly to create this really complex pattern around that that would support my body, and also something that I think would look really exciting to ride as well. In the next five to 10 years, I imagine we'll be printing this bike in titanium or carbon fiber, and I'll be the first one riding down the street on this bike. I can't wait. Wow.